24 hours a day, the book. December 7th. Thought for the day. When people come back to A after having a slip, the temptation is strong to say nothing about it. No other AA member should force them to declare themselves. It is entirely up to them. If they are well grounded in AA, they will realize that it's up to them to speak up at the next meeting and tell about their slip. There is no possible evasion of this duty if they are thoroughly honest and really desirous of living the AA way, AA way again. When they have done it, their old confidence returns, they are home again. Others should not mention the slip again. They are again good members of AA. Am I tolerant of other people's mistakes? Meditation for the day. It is the union of the soul with good with God that's that strength, new life, and spiritual power come. Bread sustains the body, but we cannot live by bread alone. To try to do the will of God is the meat that support a true living. We feed on that spiritual food. Soul starvation comes from failing to do so. The world talks about bodies that are under undernourished. What of the souls that are undernourished? Strength and peace come from partaking of spiritual food. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not try to live by bread alone. I pray that my spirit may live by living, by trying to do the will of God as I understand it. God Calling the Book, December 7th, Food of Life. I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Those were my words to my disciples in the early days of my ministry. Later I was to lead them on to a fuller understanding of the majestic union of a soul with God in which strength, life, and food passes from one to the other. Meat is to sustain the body, to do the will of God is the very strength of support of life. Feed on that food. Soul starvation comes from failing to do so, failing to do, and to delight in doing my will. How busy the world is in taking, talking of bodies that are undernourished. What of the souls that are undernourished? Make it indeed your meat to do my will. Strength and power indeed come from that. There's a Bible quote, John 4, colon 3, 4. Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Daily Reflections, the book. Reading it online via the website aa.org. December 7th, True Ambition. True ambition is not what we thought it was. True ambition is the deep desire to live usefully and walk humbly under the grace of God. 12 and 12, page 124, 125. During my drinking years, my one and only concern was to have my fellow man think highly of me. My ambition and everything I did was to have that power to be at the top. My inner self kept telling me something else, but I couldn't accept it. I didn't allow, I didn't even allow myself to realize that I wore a mask continually. Finally, when the mask came off, I cried out, the only God I could conceive, the fellowship of AA. My group and the 12 steps were there. I learned how to change resentments into acceptance, fear into hope, and anger into love. I have learned also through loving without undue expectations through sharing my concerns and caring for my fellow man 
that each day can be joyous and fruitful. I begin and end my day with thanks to God, who has so generously shed his grace on me.